Hello guys, welcome. This is Tepika from mytutorialrack.com. Now in this particular tutorial, we are going to test what we have built so far. So first thing is let's go ahead and test how many case records we currently have. So we'll go ahead and do a query, select ID from case and uh, let's see how many cases we have. We have total of about 26 cases. Okay, now we will go back here and uh, over here, one more thing I want to tell you, how did I came up with this message? So basically, this is the message that will be shown on the screen once the case has been successfully created and it will also display the case number and the case ID. Now, in order to get the case number, what we did is in our intro board flow, we have created two variables to store the outputs. And what are the outputs that this flow generates? This flow generates case ID and case number. So we created a variable to store the case ID, which is this one. And we created another variable to store the case number, which is this one, case space number. And the API name automatically becomes case underscore number here. And similarly, we created a variable called case ID. The API name is case underscore ID. So right now we have total of about 26 cases. Now we will go here and we will preview it, rich content preview and we will do bot enabled group and then we are going to chat with an expert here it's loading first thing is this is just a form we can disable this form as well we will see it in the next couple of lectures how to disable that form and once we are in our bot is going to display the first message is this hi i'm alexa a digital assistant i'm here to answer your queries and we are going to say create a new case now, when we said create a new case, the first question it is asking is enter your first name. So I'm going to say Deepika. That is my first name. Then it is asking me, what is your last name? I'll say Khana. That's my last name, Khanna, Khana. And what is your company name? I'll put it as HelloFresh. Let's say this is the company name. Then tell me about the issue briefly. Let's say the product came is broken during shipping need a refund let's say this is my product issue and then it is asking me enter your phone number so i'm going to enter the format 10 digits phone number here and then it is asking for email so i'll provide my email all this information and now what we'll do is behind the scene it is going to create a case and once that case is created it generated me a case number and my case id is this so case number, let's go ahead and copy. This is the case number. And when I run this query, do I see 27 records? Yes. So one case record got successfully created. And here I'm going to say where the case number is equals to, this is the case number and I'm going to do fields all. And then here we're going to say a limit of one and then export. So now you can see here it created the name is this, email is this, phone number is this, HelloFresh is the company name, status of the case is new, origin is web, and product is broken during shipping, need a refund, that is the subject, priority, all of these, some of them got defaulted, but some of the fields that we sent got automatically saved on the case record. So our first menu option is completed, which is we are creating a new case. And through this menu option, I showed you a couple of things, how to create messages, how to ask a question. Then also we invoked a flow through our Einstein bot. So this is a complete overview of the first menu action that we did. We completed this. So what we have learned so far is how to create an Einstein bot, how to set up some questions, how to also display a message and how to invoke a flow through your Einstein bot. And we created a case using all of that. Okay. Now, if you want to do another one, we're going to go ahead and end this chat and uh, confirm and chat and let's create another case okay chat with an expert here start chatting and then we have create a new case it's going to ask you for other same similar questions enter your first name we'll say kirti is the first name last name is kirti sharma then what is your company name we'll say platinum 
tell me about the issue briefly product not received on time then enter your phone number 789-678-9999 that's the phone number now it is going to create your case enter your email first so now let's say kirti sharma at gmail.com now once we did all of that now let's see what happens so previously we had 27 records now we got another record here and this is the case number 1027 let's say we enter that and we will go ahead and see all these values here and you can see kirti sharma supplied email supplied phone company is this one and all of this so we were successfully able to create a case through our bot i hope you guys are enjoying these tutorials i am going to see you in the next video stay tuned for that and thank you very very much